Coffee rust, caused by the fungus Hemalea vastatrix, was first discovered in the Lake Victoria region of East Africa in the late 19th century. The disease was then observed in Sri Lanka in 1869, where it had a devastating impact on the coffee plantations, leading to a significant decline in coffee production and eventually to the replacement of coffee with tea crops in the region. This marked the beginning of a major shift in global coffee cultivation practices due to the spread of coffee rust. Coffee rust, a disease caused by the fungus Hemalea vastatrix, follows a specific infection route that begins with the dispersal of Yerdinia spores, its asexual spores. These spores are carried by wind or rain to coffee plants, where they require free water or high humidity to germinate on the leaves, particularly within the favorable temperature range of 15 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. The germinated spores produce germ tubes that penetrate the leaf tissue through natural openings, such as stomata, without the need to wound the plant. Once inside the leaf, the fungus rapidly spreads, forming a network of mycelium that invades the plant tissue, disrupting the internal transport of water and nutrients. This invasion leads to the characteristic symptoms of coffee rust. The appearance of small, pale yellow spots on the upper surface of the leaves that gradually enlarge and develop into orange or rust-colored powdery pustules. These pustules are a sign of the disease's progression and release thousands of new spores, perpetuating the infection cycle. Affected leaves may turn yellow, dry out, and eventually fall off the plant, which weakens it, reduces its yield, and can lead to plant death in severe cases. The rapid spread of coffee rust throughout a plantation is facilitated by the continuous production and release of spores, which can infect other leaves or plants. Managing the disease involves implementing cultural practices, utilizing resistant coffee plant varieties, and applying fungicides where necessary to control its spread and minimize damage. Coffee rust, a disease caused by the fungus Hemalea vastatrix, manifests through a sequence of symptoms on coffee plants that are not only distinctive but also detrimental to the plant's health and productivity. Initially, the infection is marked by small, light yellow spots appearing on the upper surfaces of the coffee leaves, signaling the onset of the disease. These spots are the first visual indication that the fungus has begun its invasion of the leaf tissue. As the infection progresses, these early spots transform into the more characteristic symptoms of coffee rust, orange or rust-colored powdery pustules that emerge predominantly on the undersides of the leaves. The appearance of these pustules, from which the disease derives its name, is a critical stage, as they release spores capable of spreading the infection to other parts of the plant and even to neighboring plants. Following the development of pustules, the leaves may begin to turn yellow, a symptom reflecting the impaired health of the plant. This yellowing indicates a disruption in the plant's photosynthetic process caused by the fungus's damage to the leaf tissue. The situation escalates as the infected leaves dry out and eventually fall off the plant prematurely, a process known as defoliation. This loss of foliage diminishes the plant's ability to photosynthesize, thereby weakening it further and substantially reducing the yield of coffee beans. In cases where the infection is severe, coffee rust can lead to stunted growth of the coffee plant. The combined stress of leaf loss, reduced photosynthesis, and overall damage to the plant inhibits its natural growth and development, which can have a lasting impact on its productivity, including potential reductions in yield in subsequent seasons. The progression of coffee rust from initial infection to potentially severe damage underscores the importance of proactive and effective disease management strategies. Employing resistant coffee varieties, Adhering to best cultivation practices, and applying fungicides when necessary are crucial steps in safeguarding coffee crops against this pervasive and destructive disease. Treating and managing coffee rust involves a comprehensive approach that integrates cultural practices, the use of genetically resistant varieties, chemical interventions, and the principles of integrated pest management IPM. To effectively combat Hemalea vastatrix, the fungus responsible for coffee rust, Farmers and producers need to adopt a variety of strategies tailored to their specific environmental and crop conditions. Cultural practices play a crucial role in controlling coffee rust. This includes the careful pruning of coffee plants and the management of shade to improve air circulation, which helps in reducing humidity around the plants, making the microenvironment less conducive for the fungus. Additionally, 
maintaining cleanliness around the coffee plantation by removing and destroying fallen leaves and other debris can help minimize the reservoirs of rust spores. The genetic resistance of coffee plants to rust is another cornerstone of effective management. Planting varieties that have been bred for resistance to coffee rust can significantly reduce the disease's impact. These resistant varieties are the result of ongoing research and breeding programs dedicated to enhancing the resilience of coffee crops to this pervasive disease. When it comes to chemical treatments, the application of fungicides can provide a line of defense during outbreaks. Copper-based fungicides have been traditionally used for their efficacy against coffee rust, but they must be applied with care to avoid environmental issues and the potential development of resistance by the fungus. Systemic fungicides, which the plant absorbs, offer another method of control but should be used as part of a broader, integrated approach to pest management. Integrated Pest Management IPM, emphasizes the importance of regular monitoring for the early detection of coffee rust, allowing for timely and targeted interventions. This approach may also explore the potential for biological control measures, such as the use of natural predators or agents that antagonize the rust fungus, though research in this area continues to evolve. Furthermore, educating farmers about the life cycle of coffee rust and effective management strategies is essential for empowering them to take proactive measures against the disease. Adopting a multifaceted approach that combines these strategies can significantly enhance the capacity of coffee producers to manage coffee rust effectively. By tailoring these methods to suit local conditions and continuously adapting to changes in the disease's behavior, producers can safeguard their crops, preserve yield quality, and ensure the sustainability of coffee production in the face of this challenge.